Hey everybody, I'm Julian Jari and welcome to this rig breakdown. Recently I posted this picture on Instagram and saw so much engagement and excitement and that prompted us to just make this video because it just seemed like you guys wanted to know how to make this rig. Why I love this rig so much is I have this great monitor to be able to compose and expose and get focus while shooting. I have this battery life for an A7S II and the, and the monitor that just will never end. And this just allows me to get better shots and shoot better. During the breakdown, I'm not gonna be mentioning the specific brands or model numbers to any of these parts because that would be too long, but everything in the description below is really well organized and you'll be able to find what all these things are. This video is not sponsored by anybody or any company in any way. This is just me breaking down my rig for you guys. So let's get started with the build. So this rig is centered around this unified cage by Small Rig. What I love about this is that it, it not only connects to the camera using the base plate, but it has a second point of contact, which is the hot shoe. And it all comes together with a 15 millimeter rod like this around the camera. So let's put this on. First, I'll put the base plate on. I'll leave it just a little loose because this particular cage has to be readjusted. Next thing we're gonna do is put the top plate into the hot shoe, tighten this down just a little bit again, so I might be able to adjust it. And then we're gonna take this 15 millimeter rod and pass it through the two points. And then placing this rod how I like it and tightening the rod clamps. So as you can see, you know why I like this cage is because it has the two points of contact and then a rod that connects the two. It almost acts like a handle here as well. So that's very solid. The next thing we're gonna do is connect the 15 millimeter rod base plate. This will hold our rods. Next thing I'll do is add a tripod plate. We'll connect that on. So there we go. We've got the cage on the camera. So next I will add this monitor tilt mount and now we will attach the monitor so we'll screw this on next we'll add our top handle all right starting to look like a rig next we'll put together this V mount plate it simply just holds the battery and in order to mount it to rods later we're gonna need to mount the plate to this rod holder. So we're just gonna line up these screws like that. And then we're gonna insert our rods. Now rods, rods come in different shapes and sizes. This one here is a four inch rod. And this one here is an eight inch rod. We're gonna tilt the monitor on the A7S back a little so you're going to be able to read from the top what's going on on screen and then we're going to extend our rods and attach our v-mount plate we're going to then tighten these clamps down and now we've got our v-mount plate we then can attach our v-mount battery and we're almost there so the next thing we'll do is add our power supplies so the first thing is this dummy battery by Small Rig. I'm gonna plug the battery in. And I'm gonna run these cables as clean as I think I can in and around this rig. Then I'm going to take the Sony NPF style dummy battery, plug this in to the back of the focus, and then run this as cleanly as I think I can and I'm trying to end up back here, which is called the DTAP ports, which give the power to the monitor through this cable. And finally, we're gonna attach our HDMI cable. It takes the video signal from the camera to the monitor. And there you have it. So again, there's a couple reasons why this is so valuable for me. Number one, I have battery life to a great monitor and a great camera for a really long time. Another reason why this rig is awesome is just the way it feels and the 
the way it allows me to shoot. What I really like about this extended rod is not only can you put a follow focus on later, but I use my left hand here to hold a little bit of this rod and then the, the other couple fingers to pull focus like this with my right hand here on this top handle. Guys, thanks so much for watching this rig breakdown. It was really fun. If you want more of these things, just let me know on the Instagram and I'd be happy to break down the FS7 or the Red or another A7S2 rig. And I'll see you guys later.